Hello, my name is Jean Fajadé. I'm an interventional cardiologist in Clinique Pasteur, Toulouse, France. And uh, today we will uh, review together uh, the case of a patient who had a, a acute coronary syndrome. And uh, we will uh, uh, see how uh, the QFR and PCI assist can uh, help us to plan, to guide and to assess the procedure. We are here in the, one of the cat lab of Clinique Pasteur Toulouse and uh, we, I'm working today with uh, one of our fellow Boris and we have an interesting case on the table. She is a woman, 75 year old. Uh, she has previous, by, uh, previous uh, cardiac surgery with a uh, mitral uh, valve replacement in the 2010, yes. so that's eight years ago. Uh, at that time, she has the normal coronary uh, arteries. Uh, and uh, recently, uh, it was two weeks ago, she starts to uh, uh, suffer from uh, chest pain. Okay, that's the, the view in a uh, AP cranial. And it's clear that uh, we have uh, a long ateroma plaque on the proximal segment, followed by uh, this uh, uh, quite a tight and short uh, uh, lesion uh, uh, at the mid-segment. The distality is correct with a nice uh, uh, diagonal branch. And you can see in this view the, the eccentric uh, lesion on the mid uh, LED. Good distality, good flow. Okay, so the, definitely it's a, a single vessel disease of the uh, LED. And uh, now we will uh, uh, come back to the LED. Uh, to have uh, two uh, views under naturogliserine. And what we can do, it's uh, uh, because on the angiography it was not uh, critical. What we can do is to have uh, an evaluation by uh, QFR. So, okay, that, that is the first view in LAO uh, cranial. And uh, according to the, the calculation that we will move to the more LAO uh, up to 84, close 90, and with a cranial 21. So this uh, 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 is the uh, significant uh, lesion uh, angiographically and hemodynamically. So what we will do now is to uh, 
place uh, uh, tree distillation by, by uh, uh, direct uh, stenting. Uh, concerning the size of the stent, we have the possibility to use a 2.5 millimeter stent and followed by the positation around uh, 2.8 millimeter. So we advance the, the 28 millimeter stent and the goal is to cover the proximal plaque and the uh, and the, and the most critical lesion test. Okay, here we are. What we can do is to take a view of that. Shoot. Okay, here we are. I think it's correct. Uh, the proximal lesion is covered and uh, the distal plaque, the distal lesion is covered so you can inflate. Six. Eight, ten, twelve atmospheres. We can go up fourteen atmospheres. Okay, pressure down. Now, what we could do is to uh, pull back the balloon in proximal and uh, take a sixteen atmosphere here. Here we are inside uh, the lesion, 18, pressure down, and now the last one uh, in proximal, in order we could use again the, the stand vis in order to be sure that uh, we are not uh, inflating the balloon proximal to the, to the stand. Ready? Yes, we release. Okay. I think we can pull pull back a little bit the balloon, one or two millimeter. You see, so I will do the I will pull back a little bit, and we can redo the stand vis. Okay, here. It's okay. No, I think it's good, the proximal marker just at the proximal edge of the stand. So go to 18. 18 atmosphere with a 3.0 NC balloon. Okay, pressure down. So the, the result looks good. The stand looks well opposed. No dissection on the proximal, on distal edge of the stand. The flow is good. So what we could do now is to the, uh, do the, the QFR post PCI. Uh, and geographically it looks good. What we can do is to uh, uh, calculate the, the QFR post PCI. By zooming the, the image, you could see that uh, the good patency of the, the set of branches and really absolutely uh, no 
uh, this section, this star or proximal the, to the stand. When you look on the, on the other screen, that's a good angiographic uh, and hemodynamic result on this uh, uh, PCI after PCI of this uh, single vessel disease of the LAD in this uh, 75 uh, year old woman who present uh, an acute gravity syndrome with a uh, uh, normal uh, ejection fraction by echo and uh, uh, significant uh, lesion on the mid LED uh, with uh, uh, elevation of the troponin and uh, ischemic changes in the anterior leads by ECG.